This is Mrs. Edgett, Library Media Specialist for Grant County High School. This screencast will guide students through the homework interchange process. These instructions are specific to a district, desktop, or laptop with network access to your H drive. These instructions are to be used when you are accessing assignments while you are at school. Home access will be covered in a different screencast. Homework Interchange is more than just a SNOW learning tool. By incorporating Homework Interchange into everyday tasks, project and document exchange has never been easier. The sample assignment is given for tutorial purposes only and does not reflect any given assignments. My goal is to keep the tutorial visually simple. Let's begin. Accessing your H drive. Your H drive can be easily accessed from the desktop by simply double clicking the folder icon with your username. The easiest way to have access to all your schoolwork in one place is to save to your H drive. If you need help transferring these files, I'm more than happy to assist you with this. In addition to your work, you will see the H drive interchange shortcuts. You have the same folder and file structure as the teachers do on their network computers. I suggest creating a Homework Interchange Assignments folder for your original copies of assignments with additional folders inside for each class period. The green chalkboard icon should be labeled with your classes. Double-clicking on the green icon will show your entire class. You have your own digital locker specific to individual classes. Only students are able to access their assigned locker. Access to enter a locker other than their own will result in an access denied error. Teachers are also unable to access student lockers. Each class is represented by a group of digital lockers and an outbox and inbox for assignment exchange within that class only. How to receive assignments from the teacher outbox. Receiving an assignment from your teacher is simple. Just open the outbox. You must save your assignment in order to edit. You can do this by copy and pasting it into the correct folder. Immediately rename the document, putting your last name, underscore, first name at the beginning of the document title, leaving the rest of the title as it is. This will help teachers quickly identify your work. Open the assignment you are to work on. You may have to immediately save the assignment again to move it from a read-only status to one that you can edit. Complete the assignment much better than I am doing right now. Remember, this is just an example. Don't forget to save your work again before closing. How to turn in an assignment to the teacher. Please note that you cannot open the inbox. You can only paste or drag and drop into it. You will not receive a submission confirmation. Complete your assignment and copy and paste or drag it into the inbox. If you want to be sure it was turned in, you simply need to try pasting or dragging the assignment into the inbox again. You should get a warning asking if you want to copy and replace the original file or don't copy. You can cancel the request unless you have actually made changes to your file and would like to replace it with the newest version. Teachers will receive your assignments and grade them accordingly. 
Your file will then be renamed with a status level and returned from the teacher back into your locker. The following naming conventions will be used to convey the status of your assignment. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand the process of using Homework Interchange on a district networked computer. Feel free to talk with me if you have further questions.